Welcome to the NBA here on 2K Sports. Friday Hoops Fest coming up next. It's going to be Russell Westbrook in the Oklahoma City Thunder up against LeBron James in the Miami. Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. With Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. Doris Burke will be along too from the sideline. We're in Miami for some heat basketball. This hometown crowd ready to go. While we've got a chance here, let's now take a look at the starting lineups sponsored by State Farm. And guys, what do you think we'll be seeing from Kendrick Perkins in this game? Well, he's an intimidating presence inside, Kevin. 6'10", 270, loves to use that strength. But what Perkins is mainly is a defender and a space eater. You've got to put offensive players around him. But at the defensive end of the floor, he'll really quarterback your team. Quarterback is a very good word for Perkins, I think. Yeah, I like that. Also, you see some of his hard screens. He'll have you shaking off the cobwebs. He really jolts you. Now, here's Wade. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Bosch kicks to Chalmers. Back to Bosch. Over Ibaka. Shot is off. Ibaka with some nice D. You know, and moving forward for Miami, they probably won't have a lot of cap room because of the big contracts of Bosch, Wade, and LeBron. Uh, but remember, it is easy to lure free agents to Miami because of the, the presence of those three and then also uh, the, the attraction of living in Miami. And so it's the Thunder getting on the board first. Here's Bosch. Good in the assist there for LeBron. Nice job there. He knows how to get that ball in the bucket, doesn't he, guys? There's the feed to Cephalosha. About a minute played so far here in the first. Perkins defended by Chalmers. And there's the pass to Cephalosha. No good. Yeah, he's surprised he didn't make that one because he had a pretty clean look at the hoop. Here's Chalmers. Gets it to go from eight feet. Well, Steve, going back to Miami and then trying to lure talent down to South Beach. Not only the city itself, but veterans line up to play, knowing, like we were talking about before, Clark, they have a chance to win a championship. And that's the motivation. And as long as the big three are there, they won't have any trouble finding players who have been let go or in the last years of their contract who want to play for a winner. And those kind of players are willing to give up some cheese for some gold. That is shot good. Boy, nice pick there, guys. I mean, gave him the space he needed for the hoop. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Kevin, thank you. I caught up with Eric Spolstra. We talked about their strategy on how to contain Russell Westbrook, and he told me that Russell's at his best in the open floor. To counteract that, they'll try to make sure they get back on defense in a hurry and limit his chances to get out in transition and start setting up his teammates or throwing down dunks. Neither is a good option for them. Thanks again, Doris. And Bosch backs down. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. Kevin Durant, how about calling him low-maintenance, no-maintenance superstar? A great teammate, but he's no choir boy. I mean, there's a definite edge to his game, and you like that. A real neat combination of edge, confidence, and humility. And you see it. And the Thunder pushing it up now. Stops. Pops. That's good from Hainer on the assist by Jones. And some instant offense coming for them after that steal. Yeah, that's terrific, beautiful transition basketball. No chance at all for the defense to get back and set up. Cole is just the bucket. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. And, you know, going back to Eric Spolster, uh, what a job he's done over the last couple of years with all of that pressure after the acquisition of LeBron James. So much scrutiny and criticism, but he handled it beautifully. He got his team playing its best when they needed to be playing their best, and they were able to capture that championship a year ago. What a run. The Thunder with the lead. Al Maynard. Back to Jones. Pass to Durant. Outside Pallison. Outside Durant. Six on the shot clock. Tipped. It's stolen by Allen. And here comes the break. Goes up. The big dunk at the end of the break. Two hands for safety. One hand if you want major elevation. <laughs> <laughs> That's, right. That's right. You know you can get up higher with one hand. Did you know that? I did not know that. It really is true. I mean, you can extend better with one. Well, whatever he did. Whatever. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? That was a power yes. punch right yeah. there. Oh, great. 
Man, oh man, finishing with flavor. Yeah, you put something extra on that one, you're right. And the bench going wild, guys. They love it. What an amazing dunk. From deep, and he beat the buzzer, but it's no good. Plenty of offense in this closely can... Up to this point, a closely contested game as we start the second quarter. What do you guys think about the Thunder here in this one? Well, I'll tell you what, I like what I've seen from this club defensively. They're forcing a lot of turnovers with their quick hands and ability to play the passing lanes. Well, you talk about quick hands, but I think it's the mindset of being aggressive and then obviously being active with the hands, tracing that ball so you can come up with deflections that may lead to steals. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. At the 2-3, and three, the superstar duo of D-Wade and LeBron James. Jim Battier is out there with Hassan. And it's Chalmers in at the one spot. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Well, Kevin Durant, a tremendously confident scorer. And as the game slows down for him, he's learning to approach the big moments of the game with greater calm. He said, my first few years in the league, we'd be tied with a couple of seconds left, and I'd go to the bench and I'd be shaking. I was so anxious to want the shot and make the shot, and I'd go out and miss. This year, I was like, I don't care. It That's what he does, attack the heart of the defense and get straight to the rim. One forty-six left to play here in the half. Clark, you mentioned LeBron's jump shot. Steve, it's something he's really worked on. Yeah, you know, when he came into the league, he was very inconsistent with his motion. You know, there were some balance issues, but in the 2008 offseason, he rebuilt his motion. Uh, tried to keep his elbow in a little bit more than he did in the past. He's become a much better shooter. He's still a little bit streaky, uh, but still, his game is all about going inside and wreaking havoc in the paint. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Shane Battier is checked in for Bosch. Wade comes in for Ray Allen. And it's Chalmers in for Norris Cole. Inside, here's Cephalosha. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Now it's a seven-point Thunder lead. Just like they drew it up, fellas. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Norris Cole. Norris, over to you. Guys, the Miami Heat in their present incarnation have lapped that dominant shot-blocking big man in the middle, but they still have been one of the league's elite defensive teams. Last season, they tweaked their defensive philosophy to try to force more turnovers and enable them to get out and run. As Eric Spolster said, we wanted to play more to our athleticism and our activity. And LeBron added, Coach just wants us to be disruptive. We're just trying to use our instincts to create more turnovers. Because we know if we create more turnovers, then it's off to the races. Kevin? Doris, turnover is a great way to start a break in their dynamite in transition. Here's Wade. Wow. Oh, that is that is play. Incredible. Don't do that to him. That was fantastic. <laughs> wow. And Clark, the degree of difficulty. Major. That was amazing. And Westbrook gets it to go on the assist from Sepalosha. And the Thunder lead by 10. You know, he didn't have too much space to get that shot off, but for him, he had enough. An emphatic dunk. The defense just couldn't recover in time. Yeah, the D pretty much went brain neutral on that one, Clark. Wouldn't, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, sir. I, I like you, that phrase. Yeah, I don't use that phrase very often, but it's, to me, that's what happened. He uh, shifted the, the brain into neutral. Yes, he did. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> Wade drives in. And it's out of bounds to the heat as Miami retains possession. Four seconds left, and the rejection by Ibaka. And so we conclude the first half. Thunder out in front. And now, brought to you by Sprint. All right, I hope you're enjoying this Wednesday of NBA action. Now let's get to the halftime report. Oklahoma City up on top against the Heat over at American Airlines Arena. Just outstanding efficiency offensively. They're having a field day. It's just that simple. A nice start for Serge Ibaka. Also getting into the mix, Kevin Durant. And for the Heat, it's a grinded out effort. It's been a hard fought game, but they've risen to the challenge, really showing what they're made of. 
LeBron is their leading scorer. We're at halftime and still he hasn't missed a shot. It's been a pure shooting exhibition. That's it for us here in the studio. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Just how are you well, it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. So here's Westbrook. So for Oklahoma City right now, the front line, Kevin Durant, Serge Ibaka, and Kendrick Perkins. The backcourt comprised of Russell Westbrook and Tabo Cephalosha. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. Makes the alley-oop pass. Very pretty alley-oop Boy, that was a heck of a catch on that pass. And then to lay it up and in, all in one motion. I like the way they pushed the ball all game. And Serge Ibaka, the market on the assist from Cephalosha. Cephalosha's got three assists in the game. Well, Serge Ibaka is now in his fourth NBA season, just turned 23, and physically, he is scary. 6'10", 240, a world-class athlete, can jump out of the gym. One of the best shot blockers in the NBA. Well, that's been nice, efficient work, guys, that he's been doing. I mean... We haven't seen him take many bad shots, and that's the sign of a mature, poised player. Here's LeBron. Offensive rebound. Bosch. Nice second effort. Good job staying with it. Bosch has got eight points. Nice putback. That's why you want guys working hard on the boards at both ends of the floor. A different look for Miami. Lewis comes in for Shane Battier, and it's Allen in for Dwayne Wade. Oklahoma City has gone 4 of 8 tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. And Serge Ibaka, a late first-round pick. What a find for Oklahoma City. Yeah, diamond in the rough, and they're hoping he will be the fourth star for the Thunder when you look at Duran and Harden and Westbrook. When you look at what he's done in just his first three seasons, my, you can't put it past him. He may join that group as the, and make it the big four instead of the big three. Cephalosia kicks to Perkins. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Kicks to Zephalosha. Goes back up. No luck. Now the Heat take it the other way. He feeds it to Lewis. Oh, how about that basketball fan? Yes. Wow. Now we're cooking with gas, partner. My goodness. Yeah, a breathtaking display of aerial supremacy, no doubt. It's almost unfair, guys. I mean, when you can get up that high, that's crazy. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. That's a good strategy when you're on top. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Giannis Haslam, he's checked in for Lewis. Wade comes in for LeBron. And it's Norris Cole in for Mario Chalmers. Wade dishes to Allen. Missed inside. Here's Westbrook. Ibaka outside. And two seconds left, and it's thrown down hard with both hands. Well, that was a dynamic two-hand dunk there. And right in the face of the defender. Well, that was a tough, gritty finish. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one defense. 49. 66. The Heat have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. And stolen by Maynard. And oh, here we go. Maynard's got it. The fast break chance. Lays it in off the breakaway. And all ten of their last points have come inside the paint. So defensively, you've got to make an adjustment. Yeah, and you got to do a little more to stop it, too. I mean, it's coming way too easy for them. At some point, you just got to buck up and say it's not going to happen. Has them. That's good. And we see him get so many points that way because the effort is there constantly on the offensive glass. And Ibaka kicks to Cephalosha. Over Allen. And there's another one for the Thunder. They are in attack mode right now. That's 10 straight points, guys, all coming inside the paint. And Steve, if I'm them, I'm, I keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. If they don't offer resistance, take everything you can get in there. Carving them up inside there, Kevin. I mean, the defense has been vulnerable in there. Yeah, that's three straight field goals in the paint area. That's really good offense. Heat moving the ball around. Lewis misses. 
The Thunder have gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. And some solid looks for them. Looks like this one's over. They really played well tonight. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, we can take it out of the oven. This game is cooked. Takes a three. And there's Battier. That's good on the assist by Chalmers. Battier's got seven now in this quarter. Big mistake not having more defensive pressure on him out there. The open look. And the basket by Jones. And that one should remove all doubt about the outcome of this game. This thing's over. Now it's just a matter of what the winning margin's going to be. Fires from 18. Again, Oklahoma City. Not much drama left in this one, guys. No, it hasn't quite exactly been a nail-biter. I mean, it's going to be a great win for them, though. The offensive rebound. This is the Battier. Here's the three. That drops. He loves that corner three, Kev. That's a shot I've seen him make time and time again. Jones dishes to Cephalosha. Mano for three. That's good. Great action. Back-to-back -back three pointers at either end. Sort of an anything you can do, I can do better situation going on right here, guys. Poked away and stolen by Maynard. Kicks it out to Jones. Good look. The basket good off the assist from Maynard. They're just getting better offensively as the game goes along, making good choices and getting high percentage shots. And they're playing hard and playing smart too, Steve. Uh, they've just been very, very good. That is good. Jones against Lewis. Jones, no luck. From half court, misses the shot. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night. These guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dreamlike games for a coach. That about does it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our great crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long, and thanks for watching. Now, here is our Jordan player of the game.